What's up everybody, my name is Brad and today I'm doing another book review for you and that is on Joe Hill's Horns. Uh, this was the second Joe Hill book I ever read, uh, the first one being Nosferatu, which I love that one. Uh, I did read this book after the movie had come out. I've never seen the movie, uh, but I did see the trailers and it stars Daniel Radcliffe, uh, but the trailers didn't really do anything for me. I didn't think it looked very good to be honest. Uh, so a sort of wary going into this book. But like I said, I did love his previous book, Nosferatu. Um, but I did end up really enjoying this one. Uh, I gave it, I think, four stars out of five. Uh, it was super funny. Uh, it was really dark at times. Uh, but I really overall did enjoy it quite a bit. Uh, it follows the story of Ig. Or his full name's Ignatius. It's Ig for short. And this is no spoilers. This is stuff that's written on the inside of the book. Uh, but his girlfriend at the time, Marin, uh, she's brutally murdered and raped. And he is the only suspect. Uh, but they don't ever really find enough evidence to convict him of it. Uh, but he's never really cleared either, saying that he didn't do it. Uh, so people um, around in the town that he lives in sort of think he got away with murder. Uh, his parents are well off. He has a sort of rich and famous brother. Uh, so they think that he beat the system basically and got away with murdering uh, his girlfriend. Um, Ig thinks that he didn't do it. He can't really remember. Uh, but the book starts out with him waking up from a hangover and he has horns that have sprouted out of his head. And the book goes on to, um, he starts figuring out these powers that he has and these abilities that he has because of the horns. And he goes into sort of an investigation with these new powers trying to find out what did happen to Marin, you know, if he actually did it, if someone else did it, uh, or, you know, what actually happened to her on that night. Uh, regarding his horns, uh, like I said, it does have powers. Uh, whenever he's around somebody, uh, it seems like they feel compulsed to divulge their darkest urges and nasty compulsions to him. And then if he has skin-to-skin -skin contact with anybody, uh, he can instantly see their deepest, darkest secrets. And he can also use the power of the horns to cause these people to act upon these dark secrets and urges that they have. Um, so some of those dark secrets and urges that they have throughout the book are pretty funny. Uh, some like dark comedy stuff. But I did really like this book. I like the journey that it goes through uh, trying to find out you know, what exactly happened to Mirren. If he was responsible, if someone else was. I like the reveal of what actually happened to her. I thought it was well done. Uh, overall, like I said, I really enjoy this book. Give it a solid four stars. Uh, it does remind me of Stephen King's writing some, uh, which I did enjoy. I don't feel like he was copying uh, Stephen King's style at all, but you know, you can tell that you know it's father and son, that they're related. They have the, the writing in their genes. But this is a super fun book. Really enjoyed it. It's got some dark twisted stuff in it. Some good imagery uh, regarding the horns and stuff later on in the book. I don't want to spoil anything. But I love, I love the ending to the book as well. It ended really good. Uh, but that's all I have regarding this. So have you read Joe Hill's Horns? Uh, if you have, I'd like to discuss it down in the comments with you. Um, whether you liked it, disliked it, you know, whatever, just let me know uh, so we can talk about it. Uh, but that's all I have for you today, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.